Yeah, so I don't know what projected demands we're looking at here, but um, I obviously haven't seen them because our customers are looking for green hydrogen and green ammonia in terms of millions and millions of tonnes, not thousands, millions, and just floating in the harbour, not far from where we are in the Dubai Marina, is the world's first hydrogen fuel ship. Now, it wasn't able to sail in here because the Dubai Port Authorities, like all the other Port Authorities around the world, haven't got around to allowing in pollution for ships. They'll allow in ships which are going to kill your kids with bunker sea oil, with diesel, that come right on in. But uh, ammonia hydrogen powered ship, oh sorry, we, you've got to wait. So if I, as I've spoken to the heads of the Dubai Port Authorities, like I have the Los Angeles Port Authorities or Hong Kong or Rotterdam, they were saying, okay, okay, we didn't know the technology was here. We didn't know there was the demand. Well, the technology is here, there is the demand. Now we've got to get on and produce it. And the world shipping industry has got to look at the Fortescue Green Pioneer and say, oh my God, hydrogen fuel ships are here. We're not letting it in because our regulations are so archaic, so backwards. We can fix that. Let's get hydrogen shipping going. And I'm going to say to all my friends in the oil and gas sector who really don't like the look of that ship, who really have stopped support being given to hydrogen ships around the world, who have stopped support for, say, even Dubai ports, to really get excited about this, I want to say to them in the eye, hey, Yes, you can make a fortune from energy, but it's not oil and gas. The problem is you have to change, not your market, you. And do you foresee green ammonia to be the leading end use sector for green hydrogen? I think in the short term it will be because it can just do anything which bunker sea oil or diesel can do. It's just a slow burning fuel exactly like them needs an accelerant. You know, so it can do everything it can and you can transport it all over the world. Can make it in bulk from green sources. If you try and make it from fossil fuel sources, of course, you're going to speed up global warming and you're faking it. If it's made from a green source, you're not going to multiply the carbon dioxide in the air through making ammonia, which is how hundreds of millions of tonnes of ammonia are made right now through burning fossil fuel, destroying our planet. It can be made from renewable electricity, so let's make it from renewable electricity.